Hi everyone and thanks for clicking on my video. I'm back with another Sister Wives update, this time for November 2020. This month, I'm kind of worried about Mary, Janelle makes a controversial post, and Christine is one step closer to being an empty nester. And yes, I have baby news too! But before I begin, please like this video if you like it and subscribe to support my channel. Now let's start with Christine, because Christine always has so much going on lately. Word on the street is that Gwendolyn, Christine's daughter, has moved out of Christine's house and into her first apartment at 19 years old. Christine let the cat out of the bag on Facebook and said Gwendolyn would be hosting a pampered chef party to help get her first apartment set up. Maybe not surprisingly, pampered chef is another MLM, or multi-level marketing company, just like LuLaRoe, but kind of for kitchen tools and appliances instead of shirts and leggings with flashy prints. There's a lot of speculation out there as to why Gwendolyn moved out. Of course, it could be just because she's at that age where it's appropriate to move out, or it could also have to do with Gwendolyn's controversial Twitter posts ruffling feathers in the family. I've mentioned this before, but Gwendolyn is very outspoken on Twitter about politics, her family, religion, etc. And blogs are kind of dragging her through the mud for it. I'm sure that being in the public eye and growing up, you know, as a public figure hasn't been easy for Gwendolyn, but some of her tweets I just want to delete for her because I have a feeling she'll regret them later. With Gwendolyn moving out, that means that at least three of Christine's kids have flown out of the nest to face the real world. We're talking McKelty, Aspen, and now Gwendolyn. Unclear if Peyton, Christine's only son, still lives at home, but he's 22, so I'm assuming he doesn't. That means Christine likely only has Isabel, 17, and truly 10 at home. I hate to say this, but they better hurry up and build on Coyote Pass, or Janelle and Christine won't even have kids to bring with them to enjoy it. In more Christine news, her other daughter, McKelty, who lives in Utah, announced via People magazine that her first child, due in March 2021, is a girl. In the article, McKelty said that she wasn't surprised at all. She says, the whole pregnancy, she's felt like a girl. That's what I really wanted for my first, so I'm extremely stoked she's a girl, already buying clothes. And in a rare social media appearance, Cody actually tweeted this image and said, congratulations, Tony and Mick. And that's not all, guys. McKelty also revealed that she's chosen the name Avalon Marie for her daughter. I love that name, honestly. It's all unique and lovely. Also, side note, it was snowing in Flagstaff a lot and apparently truly wanted a snow day when she saw this outside the window. Now let's see what's happening with Mary. Mary continues to be like a top saleswoman and sells shirt after shirt for LuLaRoe, but otherwise she posted a kind of cryptic and sad message and it kind of made me worried for her especially if you factor in some of the dynamics she was dealing with last season. I guess times are pretty difficult for everybody, and that includes Mary too. She wrote a long and winded post about how she's struggling right now, and it went along with this picture. Mary said, Sometimes days are hard. Sometimes months are hard. Sometimes you just gotta take a break, to breathe, to recharge, to refill your cup so you can give your best. The last couple of months have been this for me. Some days I go to bed at 6 because I don't have the energy to function. Some days I'm up till midnight or 1 or 2 because my mind won't stop racing. But I keep going because that's what I do. That's what I always do. They say fall reminds us how beautiful it is to let things go. Sometimes letting things go is hard, but I can do hard things. I can do amazing things. I surround myself as virtual as it must be right now with my people. 
the people who see the best in me, the people who want the best for me, the people who support me. So cryptic, I know. Like, just say it, Mary. Like, what's going on? Who is she referring to as her people, by the way? I guess we'll have to wait until next season to find out, but I think you guys can all relate with me that we're all kind of struggling right now, so I kind of understand where Mary's coming from. Next, let's go to Janelle. Recently, I was excited to see that Maddie, Janelle's daughter, did a Q&A on her Instagram. When asked, are you close with your dad? Maddie responded, very, in caps. When asked if she misses being on TV, Maddie says, I would prefer being someone no one knew about. I understood the point of destigmatization of polygamy as I do now about limb differences. I don't like it though. I would love to have a quiet life. When asked what religious belief she follows, Maddie said that she is very Christian and follows the Bible as her word. She also says that Axel is like a mini hunter, and I have to say, I see it. Speaking of Maddie, she celebrated her birthday on November 3rd, and Janelle posted a very sweet message for her. Maddie is now 25 years old. Janelle posted this cute image of Maddie's kids, Evangeline and Axel, in their Halloween costumes. She said, My cute grandbabies in their Halloween costumes. Maddie is a butterfly and Caleb is the bug catcher. Totally stole these pictures from Maddie's Instagram. Janelle also thinks she's controversial because she likes fruitcake. She posted, Maybe this will be one of my most controversial posts I've posted for a while. I confess, I think I may be the only person in my sphere that likes fruitcake. Please tell me I'm not alone. Thank goodness, this one says it will keep for a while. Granted, its shelf life does make it seem a little suspicious, but whatever. I like it. Beside loving fruitcake, Janelle seems to be enjoying herself in the outdoors. She continues to hike, and she also continues to watch Hallmark movies. She tweeted, I love Hallmark Christmas movies, especially as there's often a character that looks like this is invariably is named Nick or Chris, yet no one says, hey, wait a minute, aren't you Santa? <laughs> Overall, Janelle is just loving life, it seems, and I'm the least worried about her. As for Robin, she's still a mystery, guys. I wish she was a little bit more active on social media, but I think this will come when a new season is announced. Hopefully soon, by the way. I wonder what her storyline will be next season. Let me know in the comments what storylines you guys think will be major in Sister Wives Season 15. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the whole way through. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like and please don't be shy and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye.